Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Tabular Editor 3. Now, I'm pretty sure that you are already aware about Tabular Editor. Uh, Tabular Editor is an external application for Microsoft Power BI, and it lets you create a pretty sophisticated developmental environment for writing and editing your tax measures. And I have been using this uh, particular tool for the last two weeks or so, and I wouldn't deny that I have been pretty impressed by it. And in this video, I want to talk about my favorite features of Tabular Editor. No further ado, let's begin. All right, I'm in Power BI, and that's where I have created a very simple model here. Just a couple of uh, dimension tables, calendar, customers, and products, all linked over to my sales table. And I'm going to be doing several things with Tabular Editor just to describe the capabilities of uh, Tabular Editor when it comes to writing DAX and uh, doing the modeling. So up in the external tools ribbon, right, I have the old tabular editor and I have the new tabular editor. If you don't see either one of them, I suggest that you go take a look at tabulareditor.com and install the version 3 from there. Uh, I also believe it's free for the first 30 days uh, and you can take benefit of that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and open up tabular editor and let's just start from there. All right, my tabular editor is open, which is also connected to my Power BI file at the back. And here are a couple of windows. The first feature that I find the most interesting in Tabular Editor is measure or column referencing. So let's just say that I'm trying to analyze my total sales measure, which is something that I have already created. And I'm trying to find out that how many other measures are dependent on total sales. Maybe I want to delete that. I want to edit that. I want to find out how many other calculations or columns depend on that. So I can just come over to the search here. I can just start to search for total sales. And this is actually going to show me the total sales calculation. I can click on that and I can use the shortcut Shift F12 and I will be able to take a look at all the other calculations or columns perhaps which are linked on this particular measure. So you can see that total sales is affecting another calculation called all color sales. You can also do the reverse that how many calculations feed into uh, total sales that is also something that you can take a look at. So if I just change that objects on which this depends, this is actually going to show you that what columns or tables are feeding into this particular calculation. So uh, we can also take a look at that. Anyways, let's just go and take a look at this. So if I just maybe click on total sales, I can even take a look at uh, what measure is that or all the subsequent measures that are affected by that. I can also double click and I can take a look at that particular measures as well. All right, the other thing that I really, really, really like about Tabular Editor is the ability to take a look at the DAX calculation, the data, and the model view all together in one place, right? So let's just take a look. So let's just say that here, uh, maybe I have this measure, which is all color sales, and I am actually applying a filter or ignoring a filter of the color column. But perhaps I want to take a look at, hey, what's there in the color column? Maybe if I could just preview the data, that'll be nice. What I can actually do is I can go over to the products table and I can ask for the preview of the products table right inside of the tabular editor. You don't really have to go back to the Power BI file. So I'm just going to go over to my products table right here, which is right here. I can right click on the products table and I can say something like preview data. It is actually going to show me the preview of the products table. And you can scroll down. Uh, this little preview also lets you apply a couple of filters on top of the data in case you're trying to do something here. So I can just go, go here into the color column. I can apply filters. Maybe I want to keep only, let's say, the yellow color. Uh, I would be able to do that pretty instantly. So that's nice. And I can also um, store this window uh, aside and I can take a look at the DAX calculation right next to it. So I can create a new vertical tab group. And now in one tab, I can take a look at the preview of the data and the other tab, I can actually take a look at my calculation, which is nothing but the calculation that I saw earlier. Now let's just say that you're taking a look at the preview of the products table, but perhaps you also want to explore the relationship between the products table and the sales table, right? Again, you'll have to go back to the modeling view and then take a look at the relationship. No need. We can also take a look at the preview of the relationship between the products and the sales table right inside of tabular editor. So what do I do? I just activate my relationships right here. So this is a diagram view. I'm just going to activate that. And let's just also create that in a separate tab. So I am just going to say that, hey, please uh, do a new tab group, right? Uh, and we have a new tab group for that. I'm just going to make some space right here. And I'm just going to invite the products table right inside my diagram. So I'm just going to drag that right here. And now I can right click on the products table and I can ask for all the tables which are filtering this particular table. If I right click here and I can say add the tables that filter this particular table, 
This is going to do nothing because there are no tables which are filtering the products table. But if I just maybe right click and I say that, hey, add all the tables which are related, it's actually going to find out all the tables where any kind of relationship is there between the products and the sales. It's going to invite that and show a model view. And now I can take a look at what is the relationship between the two tables and I can pretty much take a look at the model view, which is the data model. I can take a look at the preview of the data and I can also take a look at the calculation which was earlier appearing on my screen. Where is that? Right here. So now I can take a look at all the three things together, the calculation, the preview of the data and the model view as well, which is completely insane when it comes to debugging or writing your DAX calculation. It's a complete game changer. All right, my next favorite feature is applying pivot tables. Unbelievably, yes, applying pivot tables right inside of Tabular Editor 3. Now, what I can do is I can just maybe create some sort of a very simple pivot table. So here I have something like a pivot view and this actually opens up uh, my pivot grid, which I can actually stack it as a new window. And inside of this pivot table, I can drag my measures, I can drag a few dimensions and this is just going to apply a pivot table. So let's just say that I go over to my calendar table and get my ears, put that out in the rows right here. And I can actually take my total sales calculation, which is right here and put that out in the values right here. And this is nothing but the pivot table that you would otherwise apply inside of Power BI and not doing that, but you can actually do it right here just to test out your calculations. Are they working fine or not before you deploy them inside of Power BI? So this literally gives you a complete editing environment of even testing out your measures before you finally deploy them. All right, my next absolute favorite feature is applying changes to multiple measures by something like DAX scripts. What are these? You can call out multiple measures inside like a single DAX script and make changes to them and they are going to be instantaneously deployed back into your model. Let me just help you understand what do I mean. So let's just say that I have two calculations where one is total sales and the other one is all color sales. And I would like to generate a single DAX script for both of these measures. What do I do is I can select these two measures or I can select the entire table or I can select more than one measure. And once I select more than one measure, I can just right click and I can say script the DAX. Once I do that, all of the measures are going to be scripted out in a single DAX script and that's where the DAX script looks like on the screen. So you can see that we have the name of the measure, we have the calculation or the DAX uh, expression. We also have the formatting st uh, string and this is going to go for all the measures that you selected. Any changes that you're going to make to any of the two measures or both the measures is going to be applied almost immediately to your DAX calculation. So if you're trying to debug and you want to make changes to multiple places, you can call out all those measures in a single DAX script, apply the changes and deploy it back into your model. Please take a look. So let's just say that uh, I'm just going to maybe move this window to the side so that you can also take a look at the actual sales value right here. This is my actual sales value uh, untouched as of now. I'm going to say that here, uh, this, uh, which is nothing but the sum of the amount column, which is nothing but my sales value, is going to be multiplied by 0 0.02, which is nothing but 2%. For whatever reason, I'm reducing my sales number to just 2%, just to explain you how this works. And I'm also going to change the formatting string here, and I'm going to say that please apply a one decimal uh, after you do that. And you can make multiple changes. So I could have made the change to this particular measure. If there were more measures in this particular script, I could have made changes to all of those measures. Once I'm done making the changes, I can apply the script and the shortcut for that is Shift F5. If you take a look at a couple of um, these icons that have appeared after I was working in a DAX script, take a look at the second icon. I can say apply and sync, right? Once I do that, which is also the shortcut Shift F5, you will find that now the changes were just instantaneously applied back into my calculation. Not only did the calculation revise, but also the decimal place and the formatting of that calculation revised. How awesome is that? All right, my another favorite feature of Tabular Editor is the ability to write DAX and get IntelliSense along with it and a couple of interesting shortcuts that get activated. So while you were creating a measure inside of Power BI, you would have to right click on the table and then say new measure. In Tabular Editor, what will happen is if you right click on the table, you are going to get a couple of interesting shortcuts, which is let's say Alt 1 to make a new measure, Alt 2 to make a calculated column. I tend to use them all the time and it's pretty interesting. So I click on the sales table and if I just go Alt 1, it's going to create a new measure for me and I can also rename the measure right then and there. So right here, new measure, I'm just going to click here and start to call this measure as something. So let's just call this measure as a new calculation, new calc. And if I just now commit and if I just go over to the expression editor, 
and if I start writing the DAX for this calculation, it's going to give me the IntelliSense for it. For instance, if I just chose to write the SUMX function, you will find that it is also giving me the parts of the SUMX function. It has a table, it has an expression, and if I just maybe mention the name of the table, which is sales table, and now you can see that it is now giving me an indication that you have now moved to the second part of the SUMX function, which is a row iterator, and every calculation that you're going to do now is going to be done for every single row of the table. This is pretty interesting, and this actually is pretty helpful for writing DAX calculation and getting your measure right in the first go. That's it. If you now click on save, this new calculation is also now fed in automatically inside of my Power BI model. And I can also take a look at that and perhaps use that in the model itself. All right, those were a few features that I really found very, very interesting in Tabular Editor 3. I'm sure there are a ton of other interesting features, but I found myself to be working with these particular features a lot more than the others. Now, if you have a favorite feature that you have been working inside of Tabular Editor 2 or perhaps even the new one, which is TE3, please do not forget to comment about that feature inside of the comments and I'd love to take a look at that. In the end, a quick shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses. If you're starting out with Power BI, and you need help with DAX or with Power Query, get the fundamentals straight and then proceed on to solving more challenging problems of your data, I would highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for watching this and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.